Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talking all things real estate and home ownership related. Well, today we are going to be continuing on with our monthly series, Making Busy Beautiful. So joining us today to give us the next installment on how you can make your busy life beautiful is author, designer, and speaker, Holly Germati. Hi, Holly. Hi, Tracy. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you so much for joining us today. I know you are on the run and in between appointments, so we appreciate you taking the time out to join us. Yeah, I love it. Yes. So today we're going to be continuing on. We've been talking all year. Each month you bring us a new installment and in how we can make our busy lives beautiful, making busy beautiful. And last month we went through and you gave us step by step what to do for our closets to clean them out. And I did it. I don't know about any of our other viewers, Yay! but I went through and did it. I had, so I should have taken a picture like you did with all of the bags because I had so many things that went and it felt so good. Like it uh -huh. felt so good to have them. I mean, and they were things that I liked. It wasn't, you know, but I hadn't worn them. You know, there were some things that I thought looked great, but didn't necessarily feel good. And so I was like, nope, nope. If I answer no, it goes into this pile. So they're, they're going on to bless somebody else. So awesome. good job. <laughs> so I'm yes. So, so thank That's you. Great. And I've been encouraging others to do the same. And I know yes. this week we're going to kind of take the next step with that, right? So you're going to give us yes. some steps on how we can, what we do from here, right? We've done the closet clean out. And if you haven't, you can go back and watch last month's episode and get the steps. But if you have and you're ready for the next step, Holly is here to give that to us. Yeah. Okay. So, so just super, super easy. This is, this is not me giving anyone style advice. <laughs> right. This is, this is straight up style strategy. My goal for myself and also for my clients is to just um, empower women mostly to feel confident in when they're stepping out of the house every day or even if they're at home, feel confident in what you're wearing. And, and a lot of that is just, it's, it's about having outfits ready to go, knowing that what you're going to put on they're, they're items that you feel good in. They're items that you feel comfortable in and that look good on you. And if, if you're comfortable and confident, then you're just going to be happier throughout your day. Yes. So, yes, so, absolutely. Yeah, so uh, I have four, four easy steps. Okay. You've done the closet clean out. Yes. And now you're left with all of the items that you didn't get rid of, which, right. means, which means they qualified. They're, they fit you. You like the way they look, they're comfortable. So the first step is, um, this is more of a do it on a, like if you're jumping in right now, it's summer. So you're just kind of thinking like for the season, right? So for the rest of summer season, go and create, take your favorite things. And, and if it's the same pair of pants twice a week or three times a week, I don't care. Create five to seven outfits okay. that you can try on that you feel great in that are like okay. your powerhouse outfits where, you know, whether you're working or at home, whatever, create five outfits that you feel great in. And okay. then you're going to be really brave and you're gonna try them each on, stand in front of a full length mirror and do that Instagram, like selfie, <laughs> the full oh. shot selfie, okay? okay? Of yourself in each outfit. There's a really important reason here and I'm diving into the second step here with that Okay. little photo shoot you're going to take these photos and you're going to create a photo file for yourself on your phone of you and your favorite outfits okay and i have maybe like 60 pictures of myself sometimes i post them uh on my social media but really i'm doing it for myself because mm -hmm. i do have those days where i'm not feeling great or i just don't feel like thinking about what am i going to wear or i need a new idea and I'll go through my images and sure enough, I'll be like, oh, I felt great that day and that's cute and that fits the weather today. And it's no brainer, it's there. That's put together. Yeah, it helps take away from some of that decision fatigue, you know, so yeah, yeah. one less decision you have to make. Yeah, so. I'm all like, my goal is always to save, it's efficiency, right? Yes. So efficiency 
at its core with everything I do throughout my day. So this has saved me a ton of time. So that's great. So it's create, almost like flipping through a magazine, right? Like, ooh, yeah. I like what she has on. I like that outfit. Yeah. Those are cute earrings, right? <laughs> yeah. And oh my gosh, those pants. Like I always yeah. think of, remember, I don't know, there was a, there was a media, um, it was a magazine. It was like not people magazine. It seemed like I would see it and it was always like a celebrity and she had like a favorite handbag and it was all the paparazzi showing all the different days she's wearing it. Or I really love my blank jeans this month and it's that same celebrity wearing her favorite jeans it's kind of like that like yes love what you own yeah that's so, great I love that yeah so, so now and you can even do it right for your favorite workout outfits right so if it's a day sure, maybe sure. you're not feeling motivated to you know go and get in that cardio or whatever it is you need to do that day you could have those ready as well right like yeah, I yes. feel great when I wear this it's so cute so, <laughs> so. yes yeah, All for right. sure. So that's kind of steps one and two. Step three is like take a take a look at these outfits you've created. And some of us are more fashion forward or just feel comfortable in what we have like with accessories or completing an outfit. If you're not and I I call on a few different people for help, but you might see that these outfits need a little help. If mm -hmm. you need a little help, maybe they need like some accessories or you just need to you know that the look needs some fine tuning right. I suggest then focus on that and figure out you know do you need do you need professional help if you do there are like I know Nordstrom has personal shoppers J Crew's pretty good like like go to your favorite stores and see they might have a personal shopper that works in-house where it's a complimentary service and you can schedule an appointment with them or just bring in the clothes that, you know, maybe it's one specific outfit and see, yeah. um, they can help you pull, pull a complete outfit together. There are local stylists that, uh, you know, I follow on Instagram. There are a couple and they each have different styles. You could work with a stylist that will come in home and okay. do kind of a, a consult and lay out your outfits with you. But what's great is that professional help will give you your shopping list of exactly what you need to purchase for each outfit to complete your look. Okay. And if you're doing this for a year, if you can imagine over the course of one year, you are saving not only time stressing over what you should be wearing, but also money because how many of us go out and try your out at TG Maxx and you bring home like 10 pair of earrings and then you end up only wearing one. It's like there's right. that one pair that's your go-to. I've always found that a stylist is going to hone in on your personal taste and they're going to tell you, oh my gosh, the gold hoops, just get one pair of investment gold hoops and you're going to wear them all the time, you know? Right. So right. it's about investing in and items being that you smart really about what it is. So only spending your money on, on those things that are going to help accentuate the pieces that you already have and the outfits that you already love. Yes. So, okay. yeah. So get help or complete the outfits if needed. And then, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of three and four, excuse me here. Sorry. Uh, okay. so go through those steps either seasonally or twice a year, however often you need to, I'm kind of a twice a year girl. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then, um, my last note, it's really about shopping and it's about what to spend money on. And this comes from, you know, 25 years of being in the design industry, but also I had er early experience in the retail setting where it was, I was in a department store, so I was surrounded by fashion and I teach, like, I'm always teaching my girls this too, always. Um, buy quality, buy investment pieces when you can, when you can afford right. to buy an investment piece. I promise you that if you're spending a little bit more up front, you're going to feel so much happier because those pieces are going to last the duration of time. Right. Years, years. Right. And, and it's not that you have to, it's when you can, right? And you don't have yeah, to yeah. Fill your closet with all of the investment right, right. pieces. You can fill in with other things. It might be, you might say one investment piece a season or one a year. I right. mean, I'll tell you, you know, investment pieces for me are, uh, I love linen t-shirts in the summer 
or I invested a few, like five years ago on a black moto jacket that it's still like brand new. I mean, it, you know, and that's five years old already. I know I'm going to have it for 20 nice. uh, or more. So anyway, it's, it's always worth it. And then along with that, I think it just kind of, uh, it's a natural, it's a given that higher quality uh, pieces are actually constructed out of natural fibers. And natural fibers are one missing link that I think a lot of people don't think about. I think about it because I'm working with fabrics a lot with my work with um, mm -hmm. interior design, but natural fibers, cotton, silk, wool, and linen, those four natural fibers, if you can get something that's 100% natural fiber, it's going to feel, it's going to operate better against your skin and you're yes. going to, it's going to work with you with the season. It's going to keep you warm. It's going to keep you cool and also comfortable. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, it's going to pass, it's going to pass the questions that we ask when we're doing the closet cleanouts, because that's not yeah, something yeah. you just do one and done, right? It should be right, something right. that you, you do whether it's once once a year or twice a year as the seasons change. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah, so you want to make sure that those pieces, if you are investing in them, that they are something that you're going to feel comfortable in. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's really, a, it's a mindset. It's a practice. This is, you know, it is a simple lifestyle practice with this whole closet clean out, simple style, the idea of having outfits um, ready to go that's just kind of the general gist of it. And uh, if you can kind of work this into your lifestyle, then you will, it does save time, it does save money. And I think it, it builds confidence. Yes. Well, that is fantastic. So thank you yeah, so yeah. much, Holly, for, for coming and giving us the next installment and coming each month and talking about how we can, I know it's a little bit of a detour from my regularly scheduled program, but it's such great advice and it's so nice and refreshing to get to get your, your tips and information, so. Oh, great, thanks for having me. So, thank you so much for joining again. We'll see you next month for the next installment of Making Busy Beautiful. And That's thank you great. all for tuning in, whether live or on the replay. We'll see you next time on Tea with Tracy. Thanks, bye-bye.